reasons don't have reasons for the reasons of the season is true. Now that I know that's there, <laughs> um, a puddle of water. Uh, when I was talking about food, um, shelter, water, food, water, shelter. <laughs> that's enough water to last me a couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> With a good Walt, Walt <laughs> water filtration system, I wouldn't exactly go and uh, um, drink straight out of that. Although, eh, I guess it's a fresh enough rainfall. Uh, fell just yesterday. Um, however, there's also a whole whack of birds that like to fly around this area, so you don't know what they carry. But I got a really good uh, hand pump water filtration system. And... Uh, now that I know this is here, I might, uh, well, kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> no offense to the birds, I'm not upset that you, well, <laughs> you fly around here, but you know the thing. Um, but I, I might be able to show you how the water filtration system works straight out of that uh, puddle there. Anyways, cool. Food, water, shelter. Boy, Water is easy when you live in an apartment. <laughs> yeah, you simply pull. What do you do? You turn on a tap. There we go. Come over here. You want a full picture? Easy as that. Uh, ain't that something? Love technology. Been around for us for years. I can simply get up in the middle of the night, have a quick drink, settle back to bed. You know what? I don't like the flavor of the chlorine from the city water. Well, I could just let it evaporate out. Evaporate. Evaporate. Huh. Oh, and if I wanted to, <laughs> maybe something a little more simpler. I could just uh, maybe even make myself a coffee or a tea. Huh? Put that in there. Easy. And I, I don't even have to boil water. <laughs> I could just come to that red tap if I want and, and make what I call bachelor tea. Bachelor tea is when you turn the hot water on and let it run for a little bit. <laughs> Wait long enough and you drop a tea bag in there. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. Uh, this one. Yeah, I often, when I'm on the road, drink out of something like this. Oh yeah, you know what? You can easily turn that on. Ah, look at that. Hmm. Yes, sir. Turn around. And spill it on yourself. <laughs> but there's water. Easy. Ah, love technology. Well, technology can also help when you're on the road. And I'm about to go out and show you <laughs> just around my neighborhood here in the city where I live right now. I use this device. What's this device? Well, you're gonna have to wait and see. I'll open it up when I get out there. Well, it is an incredible spring day. It's still beautiful out. Uh, that's outlooking the Halifax Harbor. Uh, nice harbor. Lots and lots and lots of water. And out beyond uh, Lighthouse Rick and Lighthouse Terry, <laughs> I call the one on George's Island uh, 
Lighthouse, Lighthouse Rick, a uh, fellow who traveled across Canada and around the world. And the one way, 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 way out the mouth of the harbor, uh, just off McNabb's Island, I called Terry uh, for a fellow who ran across to Canada. Um, it's nice to see people out hiking and walking around. Beautiful. A lot, a lot of water in that harbor. I wouldn't want to drink it though, <laughs> unless it went through a good filtration system. Well, anyways, this beacon up here, as much as uh, Rick's lighthouse and uh, Terry's lighthouse inspires me, so does this one. I call this beacon, this simple little beacon, Trevor. <laughs> ah, it's my backyard. I've got this raid in my backyard. <laughs> It's literally my backyard here. And that's downtown Dartmouth. I like living in Dartmouth because we got such a great view of the cityscape as you can see there, downtown Halifax. Uh, just coming across the harbor right now is the ferry, which often I'll take. Um, and here's a little bench I like to rest on. Sometimes after work when it's beautiful and uh, maybe sit and munch and throw something in the garbage. <laughs> but water is important. Water is easily, easily, easily available from your own kitchen tap. But when you're on the road, not so much. And if you run out of water, uh, yeah, you might end up in somewhere uh, like that. <laughs> so you gotta get water. So I'm gonna go get water. Uh, I grabbed another one of those airtight waterproof bags. Uh, again, water is your friend on the inside and your enemy when it's on the outside. <laughs> so I'll show you, oh, speaking of water, this could carry 25 liters. Hmm. Yeah, that'd weigh a lot. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go up the hill over here. Uh, this is the corner of, well, where that U-Haul van is going, he's going up Windmill. <laughs> and that vehicle right there taking the corner, it's going up Wise. I'm gonna go up Wise and I'm gonna show you a, a, a little Wise technique I have in order to get water. I think initially you're gonna go, huh? Oh, sorry. I also came over here for a particular reason. Hmm. <laughs> To do some climbing, <laughs> maybe. I'm gonna see if I can find a rock. Maybe not here. Because <laughs> I do need to try to find a stone along the way. Uh, if I can, because that's gonna be important. Okay, I'm gonna look for that and uh, I'll be right back with you. I'm up from the harbor now. Back over there is the Dartmouth Commons. Skateboard park, a lot of fun. Uh, way over there under the sun is a playground. Uh, some kids skateboard inside the tennis court, which is good. Basketball courts behind. And they're gonna put a little splash thingy. Oh, I, I'm gonna assume the only room Looking around is either they're gonna put a splash park here, maybe not enough room, or a splash park somewhere here, which is fitting, because there's plenty of water. <laughs> Water's my topic, right? Yes. Now, if I had a tent sitting up at that nice little spot there, which you probably wouldn't wanna do <laughs> in the middle of the city, that's gonna draw attention. But if I was to have a tent right there, I could come along, wake up in the morning and have a fresh water supply. If you can believe that. And yes, folks, I am gonna drink out of this puddle. I am gonna drink right out of this, or maybe not right out of this puddle. Probably could drink right out of this puddle. It rained last night. Um, it might be okay. <laughs> I might not wanna risk it. So, I've got some tricks up my sleeve here. Uh, first, Got a waterproof bag. 
good for 25 liters if you can see that um, let's get in the sun there you go bright as can be 25 liter bag <laughs> I could probably fill that up with water maybe even that water if I had to yeah um, that's awful an awful lot to carry so I'm gonna move this tripod out of the way I'm gonna need that to help film uh, I'm probably gonna do it away over there so good throw um, maybe I'll just move myself over there and try to be careful it is mushy I think I've said quite often maybe not often enough water is your friend on the inside and your enemy on the outside I don't know how I'm gonna do this without getting my feet wet that corner over there looks okay and the water looks to be at a good depth here as well so what do I have let's go back get my tripod yeah, guys believe I'm gonna do this I'm gonna drink water out of a puddle my goodness what's this world coming to um, <laughs> so what do I have in there besides the tripod um, oh look at that that is one heck of a big bladder flip that upside down this one takes six liters mountain safety research okay hey now I know what that stands for mountain safety research okay uh, six liter bladder here I guess it's not called that drum dairy drum drum dairy okay um, cool yeah so I have that <laughs> and a bag this bag is gonna come handy in a minute um, more handy than you think so I'm trying to undo this with one hand which I did um, the mouth of the bags are pretty standard I can show you that uh, actually I can show you it with this this is a lid now if I wanted to exchange lids this lid should fit perfectly and it does on that as well huh so I pulled the lid out of my pocket and it fit terrific um, let me remove that because it doesn't belong with that one it belongs with da, 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 with this one which is great a standard lid so I'll put the lid this lid over here I'm gonna keep this open I'm gonna show you something else if I can do it oh it's wet I already got my feet wet I can feel it <laughs> okay I have this now part of me as I try to open it up using one hand semi and here's the device this is going to help me drink water yeah out of that puddle that large puddle there's a lot of water there there's I bet you there's at least oh I could probably get 40 liters out of there or more uh, maybe maybe even up to 100 ta-da no ta-da there it is uh, that's the initial filter to keep the silt sediment people like their cars sorry I broke the noise back there but they like their cars loud they like their motorcycles loud here in Nova Scotia I don't get it but there it is but uh, this is my little water filtration system it's got quite the uh, hose on it as you can see ain't that fun um, what does it do well naturally it's gonna I'm gonna flop it in like this <laughs> simply like that gives you enough to kind of sit back away from it but I do have one problem that filter getting under the water initially um, life is all about options <laughs> options and adjustments adjustments and when you're in a town a city uh, I can find a, a stone out there in the country uh, a little bit easier than I was looking around I did find one it just probably was too big too heavy I got a lighter one uh, this rock this is a city rock <laughs> an old piece of asphalt <laughs> so I'm gonna try to put that right here is this wonderful people to get this filter under the water oh. well that's not overly working 
So, oops, I should be filming it. Let's try to do it like, oops, watch the silk being kicked up because that's not gonna help. So let's, again, it's tough to look, look at it through a camera and then that as well. So here we go. That's underwater. Ah, process one. Now, still have a bag here. <laughs> That's a, this bag is to keep my bum dry. <laughs> now, so I'm gonna sit that down. And uh, we're gonna try this. Oh boy. Oh, it's, it is sloppy mushy here. But again, if that's what you got, that's what you got. So I'm gonna try to do this without falling completely on my buttocks, which is probably gonna happen. Okay. Oh, oh. When, when moss grows with, ew. when moss grows with, uh, that's it. <laughs> when moss and grass grow together, you're in a wet spot. <laughs> okay. Let's see what we got here. All right, ta-da. Now I got this. <laughs> of course, there's always a risk of dumping your, um, <laughs> your phone in the water. You don't want that. But this cap it off, it looks awfully sim similar to that one. So I'm gonna go, boop, put that aside. Try to do this with one hand. Okay. Now, we're gonna screw that around, if I can. Hey, I think it's working. Let me see. Do, 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 get tight, get tight, feels tight, feels tight. I'll start moving around here. And I feel my butt getting wet. <laughs> I'm not quite on the bag entirely, but I certainly am sitting in the moisture. So, how easy is this to use? Okay, well that rock moved a bit, so maybe not that easy. And I feel my butt getting wet again. Oops, sorry. Make the leaves move. Get this on here again. Get that under there, right about there, not there. Come on, there. Um, <laughs> mind you, if you're near a river and stream, it becomes a little bit easier. Okay, that's underwater, not ideal. Um, I'll try to move the leaves so it doesn't uh, suck them all in. And uh, let's attempt to get water out of this thing and we'll see what happens. And it's simply pump. Oh boy. Oh, there we go. As you can see, that's filling up with water. Not the cleanest. Oh, that's not the cleanest water. It's also better to, um, uh, we're maybe sucking that dirt right up. It should be floating in the water. Unfortunately, we don't have that. Uh, the pre-filter will keep the most of silt out. The uh, other filter deep inside will keep the rest out, <laughs> potentially. Yeah. Again, not the most ideal, but as you see, look what's going on. She's filling up. So I don't think I have to fill the whole thing to demonstrate. <laughs> but uh, give me a moment here. Um, I think I got it. <laughs> Yeah, let's, let's try to hold that up. Now I'm looking at that. I'm looking at that. Yeah, I don't know. Not the cleanest looking water. But geez, boy, geez, look underneath. That looks very, very clean. Yeah, the bottle, it's the exterior itself, maybe not so much. Uh, this bottle has gone at least a thousand kilometers. So, but let's hold that up. Hold that right up. Right up, right up, right up, right up into the sun. And I think we got some good water there. So I'm gonna sit that down for a moment and uh, I'm gonna get my butt out of the dry, or into a dry area and I'm gonna take a drink. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, but what if Trevor 
is uh, BSing you. <laughs> well, okay. You called the BS card, eh? This guy isn't going to drink out of a puddle. Well, as you see, there's been no cut or edit. This is where I got my water. Hmm. Straight on. I have detached it. Okay. There is the water. It does look clean, though. Look at that. That's amazing. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> Woo! Drink it out of a puddle. Not much taste to it. <laughs> Hi folks. I just did an incredibly good video for you. Um, <laughs> a real incredibly good video for you. I did, it was great. Uh, but shuffling around, I ended up not hitting the record button. And I do wanna show you for sure uh, just how to get water out of a puddle. <laughs> it was a great video. Wish I could have showed it to you. Now there's the puddle. <laughs> uh, there's probably at least uh, 50 liters of it. Uh, minus half liter that I already drank. Um, <laughs> um, before I realized, uh, yeah, I didn't hit play, or sorry, record. But um, I'm going to drink water out of that puddle. <laughs> More. <laughs> oh, oh boy. I hope this works and I hope I don't get sick. <laughs> but uh, uh, what I did say on the video that uh, I didn't record, uh, turn around here, making sure this is recording. Okay. <laughs> Idealism works when conditions are ideal. <laughs> and sometimes when you get too excited, uh, you ruin it for yourself. But we're going to do it again. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> uh, oh well. So, <laughs> but that said, when conditions are idea, you, you have absolutely a perfect source to get uh, water. And a perfect source would be your own tap. <laughs> From your own tap would be absolutely great. Um, that said, other options, a grocery store, a service station. Um, you know, if you got a bag like this one, <laughs> you can fill up quite a bit at a service station and then take that along with you. Six liters, that's gonna last you a few days. It should last you to the next service station uh, as I worry about uh, the water I just drank out of that puddle that you never seen me drink. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, that said, <laughs> subscribe, <laughs> share, share, subscribe, subscribe, share, subscribe, subscribe. How about that? I want you to subscribe. Um, <laughs> maybe, I can, maybe I can afford somebody to hold this camera for me and make sure I'm recording. Okay, enough said, Trevor. Move on. Um, so down to the water. Um, yeah, options. Going across Canada, you often do have, between communities, uh, a place to get water. Even if you had to knock on somebody's door and say, hey, do you mind if I get some water? I remember running around Nova Scotia here in 2017 that that's exactly what, well, me and a fellow that came with me for a day, uh, we did. <laughs> We're running low on water, knocked on the door and said, yeah, do you mind if we grab some water? And, you know, I filled up the bags and we had, we had ourselves some water. Uh, easy as that. Uh, sometimes, like, say, between Ignace and Uppsala, I between Ignace and Uppsala, don't be unprepared because you just might find yourself out of supplies. Uh, so it's a long haul, uh, 100 kilometers or so, uh, and you're on foot. What do you do? <laughs> 
well, maybe you do bring enough water for you for, the, for those days. Uh, maybe something, an injury or whatever may take you down and you find yourself stuck between. Well, of course, there's always the option of stepping out on the road and onto traffic and say, hey, do you mind if I drive to the next town? But if you don't want to do that, <laughs> get yourself a water filter. <laughs> One of these things, I'm going to turn around here and show you. This uh, hoo jiggy riggy here. Oh, we're still recording. That's good. Um, how could I not look and see that I wasn't recording? Anyways, this dandy little rig. Um, So here we go, I'm going to pump away and it's very easy to pump as you can see with the bubbles it's going up oh, oh, with the just that it's circulating um, as you can see this one the water right here the water is going in and then it's just circulating it, the rest outward to get a flow. So let's see, I'll maybe pump, try to pump away. It's good to hold it between your knees. And watch that sucker move, look at it go. Woohoo! It's quite the pump. And I just flipped the thing, but. Let's see what I got there. And again, about, so, oh, what, what do I got there, guys? What's it say? Uh, hold it level, a little over half a liter. Um, this is the end of it. So as you see, there's a little pre-filter there to keep the leaves and heavy silt out of it. So it's just down to, uh, well, a tea colored water. Well, it's, it's not that bad. It's a little, little less than tea color. Uh, a very uh, weak tea. Bubble, 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 bubble. Um, but the end result, as you can see, is pretty clear water. Um, yeah, I'm going to unfold, unfold it, uns unscrew the top here and pull this off. And again, this will attach to just about everything. Um, as you see here, uh, it's pretty standard. If I want to attach it over there to this, that guy, absolutely able to. Um, as you see here and here, they're the same size. So for this one liter container, I'm able to fill up, as you see, very easily, very quickly. I mean, geez, in that amount of time where I was pumping, and I wasn't pumping vigorously, just uh, casually, uh, one, like the, uh, the pump in between my knees and on top of that, uh, you know, using one hand, the right hand. Uh, so perfectly and uh, as you see the opening Ooh, hopefully the kid will behind us will cheer up when they get closer to the uh, play park here <laughs> I'll give you an explanation uh, the child wanted to press the uh, cross button <laughs> Yeah, so they fit quite well. The filter fits well to all these uh, devices. Um, so I said, <laughs> yeah, Trevor, you just wanted to procrastinate with the child crying. Okay, this is the water. And I, I have hit record. Up there is the sun. Look how clear it is. Look at that. Did you see anything floating in there? No leaves, no nothing. All right. <laughs> I drank a liter already. Here it's coming to, to my mouth. No, I'm, I'm not going to cheat. Here it is, here it is folks. I will try not to hit stop. Yeah, cool, yeah, cool, cool. Oh. Being hydrated is very important. Very, very important. Echo, echo. Um, <laughs> you have to have water. You can live several days without water, uh, but if you're exerting yourself out in the Canadian highways, um, not so much. Uh, 
you know, unless you have a lot of food with a lot of uh, liquid in them, like <laughs> oranges or pineapple or something like that to keep you hydrated. If not that, you need this. <laughs> Uh, there is not a thing floating in there. That's quite what quite good. So drink another puddle folks <sighs> Well That's 700 <laughs> 800. Let's finish it Trevor. Oh my lord. <laughs> if you don't hear from me after this you know what happens but uh there i did i, I drank out of a puddle um early in the season two hopefully no chemicals were sprayed already on this field or i really will be sick uh not ideal condition i risked it to show you uh just at what extremes you can go with a filter like that one Okay. Please do that. <laughs> I risked my life to show you this, um, but that is the option. And before you camp anywhere, uh, try out your, your gear. That's really what I'm doing here. What extremes? Um, if I do get sick from this, I hope not. It will learn me a valuable lesson. Don't drink out of puddles in the middle of a city. <laughs> if I do survive from this, uh, by this, it will tell me I've got one incredible piece of kit here that is so, so, so valuable. Whew. Amazing. Yeah, I just drank out of a puddle. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Water filtration system. <laughs> I may not have been honest. I don't know if I'm okay. <laughs> I sometimes like to throw people. <laughs> Uh, food, water, shelter. When I'm in a grocery store, and I remember Thunder Bay, I'll give you a, give you a story. Um, I said to the, the cashier when I uh, pulled up, <laughs> um, I said to her, how many people do you think walked in here today? And she's like, I don't know. What do you think, maybe 100, 200, 300? Oh, maybe maybe a couple hundred I'm like okay how many people do you think walked in here from their houses oh, a few from their cars oh many more okay how many people do you think walked in here from the other end of town oh, I wouldn't think many at all is what she said huh I'm like how many people do you think walked in here from across the other side of town or in another town altogether oh not i couldn't imagine many at all how many you think walked in here from vancouver oh i wouldn't think any you walked here from vancouver yep that's my trailer outside wow and then she just turned to everybody he walked in from vancouver guys um yeah thunder bay to vancouver you know and I certainly anywhere I went grocery shopping after that, that's, I, I, I pulled that on them. Just to kind of take people out of what their norm would be and kind of go, what? Uh, which I just did with these folks. <laughs> They're going to wonder why you're sitting next to a puddle <laughs> with a crazy device next to you. Uh, must be doing something. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> after after uh, I said I just drank out of a puddle. I just drank one liter out of a puddle. <laughs> I don't know if I'm okay, but I'll let you know. I'll keep you updated. Uh, so far, it doesn't feel too uh, feel too bad. Um, the effects I should know later on tonight, <laughs> and I hope hopefully uh, between the next few days I don't have many effects at all, and uh, I certainly hope uh, no long-term effects that may last years or decades. <laughs>
but um, I wanted to show you guys that. Um, anything else I need to say? Uh, I think that covers it. You need food, you need water, um, you have options to get water, and I really don't recommend using the filter that often if you have better options. Always go for your best options. Where I went uh, grocery shopping, I had the option of going to no frills. That's great, you can pick up a few things. Um, but there's also some other things you might get at a, a, a more of a superstore or a Sobeys or something that might be a little bit more that you specifically want uh, that's a little bit up from that. Take your best option. Um, myself, as I think I showed you around my community a little bit uh, when I was going out to the grocery store for food, um, putting yourself in the best possible place when you camp. Uh, and the best possible place when you come into town. Have your services, your resources really handy. Um, and if you <laughs> take your resources along with you, uh, take a ninja kit, absolutely what you need. You know, this is what you need. Um, sometimes more, <laughs> as I built, the, I built the trailer full of ignorance, I called it, because I, I had redundancies. Um, I had a lot of options. If this didn't work, then I had a backup system. Um, you know, if you absolutely cannot find water anywhere else, what do you do? Your only option is to find the nearest water resource. And it could be a puddle. It could be a swamp. You know, you don't want to necessarily drink water where moose bathe and beavers swim, right? Uh, but if you head to, and that's your last possible resource that's gonna keep you alive, do it. Um, your other option is, of course, boil that water down hard. Hard, you know. Um, <laughs> that would be an option. But that's what uh, most people, sensible people would do <laughs> if they want to drink out of a puddle. Take the water back to camp, boil the thing down over a uh, campfire, and you should be good. I do, do want to uh, remind you, time is energy. So the more effort you put in, the more energy is going to be taken out, right? Think about that. Uh, so how easy it was for me to get water quickly. Um, out of uh, yeah, puddle right there, folks. It was very, very quick, very, very easy, very effective, and uh, I'm hoping <laughs> very, very safe. <laughs> um, yeah, always be skeptical, uh, but again, absolutely your last option. But if that, if that is your last option to drink water out of puddle, <sighs> hello. Here's another thing I do before I leave camp. I stick my hand out like this, and I move that hand around slowly, like that, looking at every finger and just swiping the area as if I'm touching it. Looking at it with my eyes, touching it with my eyes, making sure I didn't leave one thing behind. Oh, there is something I left behind. That piece of asphalt. <laughs> we don't want that there. <laughs> I'll put that over here in case somebody who has a little bit of a wall water filtration system <laughs> decides to come along and drink out of that puddle. <laughs> but uh, as it does look, as I look over here and I move over here, doo -doo -doo, that's my supplies. I can leave the cigarette butts yicky, yicky, yicky behind. Uh, they're not mine. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go home and see how long this water stays in my system. <laughs> it could be coming out both ends pretty quickly. <laughs> I think I'm good. I'm pretty sure I'm good. I, I trust the system. <laughs> Cheers, folks.